Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you have one of these Amazon Fire Sticks and you have one of their official remote controls and it stops working, it stops controlling your Fire Stick or it stops controlling your TV, there is a solution. I'm gonna talk about that in today's video right now. All right, so a lot of you are probably wondering what's wrong with my remote? Am I gonna throw it out the window? What is going on? Why can't I control my Fire Stick? Why can't I control my TV? Could be something as simple as batteries. It could be that you change TVs. It could be all kinds of things. So we're gonna talk about how to fix that right now. So let's get close in on the remote control. All right, so I got you close on the remote control here. So the first reason why most people lose sync with their Fire Stick or their TV is as simple as just the batteries. I know that sounds simple, but a lot of people forget that these things come with a battery uh, in them and they it does deplete. I mean, it's just going to happen, especially if you use it a lot. So uh, really simple process. You just slide this right off like that. As you can see, some people struggle with that. All you need to do, literally just put your thumb here, slide it right off. I know that sounds simple, but people struggle with that. They try to pry it off and you don't, you just slide it back and then you just replace the battery. So try that first, that's your first step. Now, once you replace the batteries, it automatically on your screen it should say your remote is now resynced with your TV. But if for some reason it does not, there is one thing that a lot of people don't realize to resync this. So let's say you change TVs, the batteries died for too long or it updated and you need to resync it, all you need to do watch this very closely see this little home button right here all you need to do is hold that down until this is blinking fast so let's do it really quick i believe it's 10 to 15 seconds so let's go ahead and do it here i am just resyncing it completely to the closest fire stick so if you're changing remotes you replace your remote whatever process you are going through there it goes blinking now you can let it go so you can actually sync this remote to another Fire Stick if you want, or if you buy a second one, you will have to go through this step. So it's blinking really fast. And what that's doing right now is it is syncing to my nearest Fire Stick to this remote, which is here in my office. So we're gonna let that go for just a few seconds. So it's still going there. It does take a little bit of time here to sync into your TV. Um, and typically what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just hit that home button for 10 or so seconds. There it goes, it stops right there. So now you're officially synced. Now on your screen, you should now have complete control over your device just like that. Now those two tricks, the batteries and the holding down the home button, will help you sync it to your Fire Stick. But what happens when you need to sync it to a new TV? Say you move your Fire Stick to another room, or you got a brand new TV and you want to resync your Fire Stick to control the volume and the power. Basically, your TV needs to be Bluetooth to be able to control those functions on your TV. So to do that, all you need to do is go through a few steps in settings. So let me show you really quick how to do that on my Fire Stick. All right, so I have you here on the home screen on the Fire Stick. So what you need to do is go to settings. Now, if for some reason you still have the older interface, the settings will be at the very top of your screen, and then you'll go to the right over to settings. But most people by now should already have the new interface, as long as you have at least a second generation Fire Stick. So you're gonna find that right here in the load gear on the right hand side. Then you're gonna go down, and there are two sections that controls your remote. You've got this one here, and you have the equipment control over here. And this is important that you know what each of these functions are and why they're different. So let's look at the controller and Bluetooth devices first. When you click on that, you're gonna have a couple choices. You're gonna have your Fire TV remote where you can pair, unpair it, update, all kinds of stuff, game controllers, and other Bluetooth devices. So if you click on the Amazon Fire TV remote, you'll see that the battery is okay. You see the version you have, and it is a voice type remote. So now you can add the voice remote to any of the older devices if you want to buy one on Amazon. So that's always an option and you would do that right here. That's where you would add it. You would just say add new remote, okay? But you have a remote already and for some reason it's not controlling your TV. So this is where you will go to equipment control right here on the left hand side. So go ahead and click equipment control and you're gonna go down to manage equipment and then you're gonna to go to TV, okay? Now, if you have a Fire TV, you're gonna go right here. 
but if you have a regular TV and you want to control the volume and the power, this is where you're going to click. And then you're going to go down here to change TV. By going to change TV, you can actually see what the current TV is over here. So my current TV, it says is a Vizio. Now for the purpose of this video, I went ahead and switched it to my Sony TV so you could see the process to change the TV. So my Fire Stick is not on a Vizio right now, it is on a Sony. So I do need to change it so that I can now control the volume. I'm gonna go up on my volume, down on my volume. As you can see, nothing is happening on my screen at all. I have no control over that or power. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the TV by clicking Change TV. Now it will take five to 10 minutes, it says, but I've never seen it take more than 40 seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and change TV. Of course, that depends on your connection. If you do have a snow, slow connection, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. So we're gonna, they're gonna go ahead and prepare the remote for set up. So now they're gonna ask what brand TV I have. I have a Sony, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit Sony. Sometimes it will automatically detect it, but I have this going through another device, so I'm gonna have to go through a couple extra steps. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power, and it says hit, press the power on your Fire TV remote to turn off your TV, wait 10 seconds, and then do it again. So I'll go do that. I'm gonna wait my 10 seconds. All right, now I'll power it back on. And yes, the answer is yes, it did work. It has now been updated, okay. Now, if you have it connected directly into your TV instead of a cloner box, which is what I always have my Fire Stick on. If you haven't seen that video, you definitely wanna check it out. But if you have it connected directly to your TV, it should automatically recognize your TV and you don't have to do that extra step to say what brand you have. But that's the process there. And now you'll have complete control over volume, as you can see right there. Um, power, I can power my TV off, no problem. So now I have, by doing those three steps, I now have complete control over my Fire Stick and my TV. So that's all it is. You don't have to throw that remote control out the window. I just shared with you how you can now resync it with your TV, with your Fire Stick. There's no reason why your Fire Stick should stop working unless you maybe dropped it on concrete or on a hardwood floor, then you might have to get it replaced. But you follow these steps, batteries, resync, TV settings, you shouldn't have any problem reconnecting your Fire Stick remote to your device and your TV. Thanks everybody for supporting our channel. If you are already subscribed, thank you. If you're not subscribed, please take a moment to go down below the video and click that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and comment down below any questions you might have, any issues you might be having with your remote. If none of these steps work, let me know what your issue is. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.